So uh, let's start the demo. Um, we first have to ensure that the uh, Kubernetes cluster is connected in the current context. So we'll run the command kubectl cluster info to ensure that we are connected to the cluster that we're interested in. The next thing that we have to do is uh, we have to ensure that the Helm is properly deployed. So uh, we can just, in, in my case, Helm client is deployed on this machine. Um, if I just run this command, which Helm um, and Helm, it, it basically ensures that the Helm, is, Helm client is running on this machine. The next thing that we have to do is uh, we have to install the Tiller server onto the Kubernetes cluster. But before that, we have to create a service account with cluster role binding um, uh, into the Kubernetes cluster. Uh, for that purpose, we have copied the content of the uh, RBAC config YAML, which we can take a look at it here, RBAC config YAML. So um, RBAC config YAML um, has, the, uh, has the service account called Tiller. We're gonna basically issue a command, uh, Kubernetes command to create the service account. So let's go ahead and do that. kubectl create NSF RBAC config YAML. All right, so this has created the service account called Tiller. If you want to ensure that this account has been created, you can go ahead and run the command kubectl uh, namespace cube system. By the way, all these things get created into the cube system get service account. So it will show the list of all service account as we can see here, Tiller is now got, uh, Tiller got created. Similarly, you can verify that the role, uh, cluster role binding got created as well. Uh, now let's go ahead and initiate the, uh, initiate the, the Tiller configuration into the Kubernetes cluster. Um, for that, we'll run this command helm in it with service account that we just created, Tiller. So this is gonna install the Tiller uh, into the pods uh, of the Kubernetes cluster that we are connected to. All right, so it has successfully done that. To ensure that it has actually created a call, uh, uh, set up the, uh, the Tiller into the Kubernetes cluster, we can run the command kubectl minus n, cube system namespace and get pods and we'll show you the list of pods. And as we can see here, that the Tiller deploy pod is running and the deployment name here is called Tiller deploy. With that said, we have the required artifacts necessary to start creating our uh, Helm, uh, Helm chart uh, for the application.